guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 11 of season 2 of Fruits Basket. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Kagari. But then that kind of looks like Tori. No, that's Kagari. I am what in the world? But who's gonna clean all this mess? Yes. Right. And uh, Kido's still being a bitch like always. Why though? That's a really nice serene picture of her. You wouldn't think someone as pretty and serene as that picture right there is a bitch. She loves and cares for her. 
campus, she feels like she can do so much more. They're all afraid of me. They hurt. My bad. family has that pressures. It's like glass, it's shattered. <laughs> no, it's okay. You did your best. <laughs> Because one day you're going to be locked up and you're not going to be able to see her. a little while longer because mm -hmm. mm -hmm.
just a dog. That's all. Not the best girl in Jesus Christ. <laughs> sure. Well, even you can your girl, you will pick her up. We're supposed to be excited. We're girls. Did you have to pull him by his leg? Oh my god.
And of course, she didn't want to be just, like someone else to see him be exposed, you know. If he does not hug her, I swear to God. Oh my god, this was like the last dang episode. <laughs> Jesus, even though we know 12 is coming out next week.
go up. Her. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, this is such an emotional episode. It really just for Kagura. Oh my god. It makes you wonder. Like, let's say in a different reality, she didn't pull the rosary off and everything still stayed the same with them where they played every single day. And maybe they would have fallen in love with each other. It's it's a big, you know, what if this happened? What if that happened? Like different routes if this was like maybe an Atoma game or something but I mean the fact that you know he even with the fact that like right then and there in the beginning like what what five ten minutes into the episode where he was going to immediately just say hey I'm not in love with you right then and there and how she's like no let's go on a date I'd rather you like she was basically she knew it was coming and I'm glad that she was you know she knew that but I think it was for her to really truly accept it she's like you know what I have something to tell you. Let's go on a date together. Go to our place that we used to go to as kids. And let's just confess to each other what we have to confess. And then move on from that as not only friends, but close family members that still care for each other. But not like, not like incest, just like really just good friends, you know, still, but as family members. I'm glad that, you know, she, they acknowledged each other. I mean, it's just good because the situation between these two, um, especially when you're watching the original series, or, well, the older series, and the fact is that they didn't go to this depth into their relationship, and as someone who, way before she read the manga, because I, I watched the series first, then I read it, um, about like a couple of years later, um, this was something that I really, really wanted to see in the original series. And it's sad that we didn't get to see it. But still, getting to see scenes and moments between characters that we needed, like, long ago. I mean, it's just so good. I mean, Toru talking to, you know, his sensei again and asking questions of how is it possible we get the curse solved and everything. Ren coming in like a badass bitch that she fucking is. I mean, that's best girl quality right there. Um... So I hope, like, with her situation, we get on that ASAP. I mean, we've gotten on it a little teeny tiny bit, so I maybe a little bit like to say, like, 5%. Um, but still, the biggest thing that I want is for her and Haru to just make up, talk, and stuff. Even though, to me, at times, Rin is the type of girl who is like, you know what? I don't really want to talk. I don't feel like talking. Some people are like that. There are people in the world who are just like, you know what? I don't really feel like talking right now. I don't really, I don't think she likes confrontation, but that could be different because this is a girl who is like, you know what? Bam, in your face, no matter what. I mean, 
this, I, I, you know what? I think she's a girl who's like, you know what? Ask, like, fight now, ask questions later instead of ask questions later and then fight. You know, mm. she's more of a street smart kind of girl rather than a book smart kind of girl. But that's okay. I mean, no matter what, she's still best girl no matter what at the end of the day. But <sighs> we got one episode left until we're done with the first half of this show. And I feel like. Because it was weird to not really have an opening to speak. And to have the opening song be in the last second to last episode. So I feel like maybe next week we're probably not going to have an opening as well. And maybe episode 12 might end on a really interesting cliffhanger. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, it's either between 12 and 24. Like episode 12 or episode 24. One of these two episodes is going to end in a really weird cliffhanger. We're all like, I'm going to be sitting here like possibly pissed knowing myself because I don't like cliffhangers, but who knows? Honestly, I can't wait to see what happens next, but other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 11 of season 2 of Fruits Basket. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially on next Monday for episode 12. Bye, guys!